Hello everyone. Today I'm going to demonstrate the integration between AWS SageMaker and Snowflake. Did you know that AWS has 25 plus services integrated with Snowflake? And one of those services is AWS SageMaker, which is a machine learning service. In the demonstration today, we are going to use the SageMaker notebook to push the workload down to Snowflake using our capability called Snowpark. For those who don't know Snowpark, Snowpark is a capability that allows you to push your workload right where the data resides. We can push the code in Python, Java, and Scala onto Snowflake. We're going to look at another capability called Streamlit. Streamlit is a framework, it's an open source framework which is developed using Python and it allows you to create web apps. And we have got a Streamlit integration now natively available inside Snowsight UI. It's in private preview, but look at this, look at how cool this capability is. You can go directly into Snowsight UI and then get your Python code and develop your Streamlit web app to have an interactive session with your users. Now let's look at the demonstration. In today's demo, we are looking at a ML model which predicts machine failure. In this case, a motor failure, and it's based on different parameters such as temperature, humidity, torque speed, and, and so on. Now this is a Streamlit application which is developed using Python inside Snowsight UI. Now just want to make sure the snow integration of Streamlit in Snowsight UI is in private preview. So do be cautious uh, that it's not a G8 feature yet. Now this is an interactive app and you can change the temperature, you can change the talk and you'll see the failure or the result of the machine learning model will change based on the parameters that you have put in. And what it is doing in the backend is really looking at a UDF, user defined function, inside Snowflake uh, to get the prediction of the machine failure. Now to start creating or building the machine learning app, we needed a data and that data set is available inside Snowflake. So if you go inside Snowflake, inside my AWS, AWS database, I've got tables with all the data sets which are required for my uh, mach, uh, failure prediction, machine uh, failure prediction. So I'm using this data set inside the SageMaker notebook. And what I'm going to then do is use Snowpark to push transformations as much as I can inside Snowflake and then retrieve data from Snowflake only to build and deploy model on the SageMaker. So to do that, we are going to go into SageMaker notebook. This demonstration is based on a quick start which is getting started with Snowpark for machine learning on SageMaker. One of the steps in this quick start is to set up the Snowpark libraries onto SageMaker. And that can be done in the step number four and step number five. So when you look at the steps, what you have to do here is really install the Snowpark uh, repository from Anaconda channel. And this can be done on your image terminal so that it's available and installed on your image, the container image that you have on SageMaker. However, for me, this step did still cause some issues. So apart from this step, what I've done is I've also gone ahead and really installed the libraries inside the notebook using pip install. So if you hit an error with the Conda install and if you're thinking what is a problem, then the pip install will resolve that issue. Now inside SageMaker notebook, there are different steps. The first one is to connect to Snowflake instance, then we'll explore the data, we'll create the training data sets, then we'll build the model that predicts machine failure. Once the model is built, you can then deploy the model to Snowflake. And then we also deploy the model to AWS. And the reason for doing this is so that you can use the uh, model ops capabilities of AWS and you can get end-to-end -end model ops and on top of that you can also use some of the cool capabilities that AWS has such as the SageMaker Clarify which can detect bias, it can detect the drift. So example we are detecting the explainability of the model. So all these good features are there in SageMaker and then you should 
So in order for you to get use those, you will need that model deployed inside AWS. So for connecting to Snowflake, as I said previously, we are doing some pip installs to install the Snowpark libraries inside the notebook instance itself. And then once you have installed the libraries, we are connecting to my Snowflake instance. Once you have established the connection, the next bit is obviously to start exploring the data. And when you explore the data, right, all the uh, commands that we have here, what it will do is it will try to push the processing onto Snowflake as much as it can. So the joins that we are doing, it will uh, use the Snowpark to process uh, those joins inside Snowflake instead of getting data out of Snowflake and doing the jo join in the memory of SageMaker. And if you look at this explain, this is one thing I really want to point out is the explain query is a metadata query. What that means is whenever you run an explain query in Snowflake, it's not going to use a compute. And hence, you're not going to get charged for that compute. You would be able to understand how the query is going to perform before you can execute that query. And if you go into the query history of Snowflake, this is the explain a query and you can see the warehouse is not selected here that means it's not using the warehouse or the compute to really get the explain plan which is important for users not to spend money before you can have a really correct query which can be processed across the snowflake compute and then once you know the data you have explored the data then you start creating uh, the data sets and then building the model that predicts machine failure we are using the random uh, forest algorithm for this particular machine uh, failure prediction. And what we are doing here is really getting the data from Snowflake into a S3 bucket and then using AWS SageMaker to build and train the model. And then once the model is built, then you can deploy it both in Snowflake as well as in AWS. And the reason you deploy it on both sides is when you deploy it in Snowflake, and you can see here we are deploying it as a UDF. So when you deploy it as a UDF inside Snowflake, you can do batch inferencing using that UDF. And it's good because for batch inferencing, you do want the model to reside where the data is. And, and then you can have those batch inferencing inside Snowflake. And then as I said, we deploy it in AWS so that you can get end-to-end -end model ops and all the great features or cool features that AWS has on the in the data science uh, space and in this instance we have deployed it we are also uh, predicting the uh, model response and getting the response for that uh, particular model and lastly we are using the SageMaker Clarify to derive the explainability of the model so we know what features or columns are of most importance in deciding the result of the model so we do this explainability inside SageMaker and then go into the experiment so once the explainability job has been finished you can go into the experiments and then look at the explainability plan for that particular uh, model and it will tell you which features are important and as you can see here a temperature is the one which is the most important column which is influencing the output of the model to summarize what we have seen in this demonstration is we built an app using Streamlit, which is an open source framework to build web apps. It is referencing or inferring a model uh, deployed in Snowflake as a UDF. We then are using SageMaker notebooks to process as much data inside Snowflake and push the logic, transformation logic inside Snowflake. We then build the model and train the model using SageMaker, deploy it as UDF in Snowflake, as well as deploy the model onto AWS. And then we're using the AWS SageMaker Clarify uh, to derive the explainability of the model. So I hope this demonstration helps you understand how the Snowflake and SageMaker integrate together and how we are better together.